Phoenix, Paul. Megan in DeKalb, Illinois, here on the Ed Schultz Show. Hello. Hi. With regards to the callers uh, from about an hour or so ago, Ed in Chicago, who suggested that the working poor need to contribute $100 a year for the you know income tax they're not paying, which immunizations would he like me not to provide my children to pay that? Which meals should my children not have so that I can pay that $100? Does he not get the working poor live literally hand to mouth and that that $100, while in theory seems like sound practice, uh, is, is almost impossible for most of us? Megan, are you the uh, working poor? I am, sir. I'm a single mother of two. I work two jobs. Good for you. Thank you. And $100 means a lot to you. A hundred dollars is, is a, a, a month's worth of gas in my car to get to work, Ed. Well, uh, do you think, well, think about that. What you just said, folks, a hundred dollars to her is getting to and from work for a month. And so I bet you have your food bill down to your budget down as well, don't you? You cannot imagine how far I can stress a dollar. And do you feel like you're paying your fair share? Um, you know, I would love to be in a position where I could pay more in income taxes, but the reality is that I don't at this time. And when I do, you know, get ahead in this economy, I will. How do you, how do you, how do you, now your, your vote is just as important as anybody else's. Well, I, I think and, in some, in some respects it's more important oh, than other people. Okay. That's a good way to look at it. That, that means you're definitely going to engage. But how do you, how do you feel about Mitt Romney and the discussion of the Buffett rule and millionaires should pay at least 30% uh, over their million dollars that they make. Is that Does that sound fair to you? Absolutely. And, and like I just said, you know, when, when the market turns around and, and the economy turns around and I am able to pay more on income taxes, I will happily do so for the betterment of my society. Good luck to you, Megan. Thank you. I appreciate your call. You're speaking volumes, and that is why we say this is where America comes to talk, the Ed Schultz Show. Ed Schultz. Governor Ron- number one liberal voice where truth and common sense rule this is the ed schultz show where america comes to talk now live from the studio at 30 rock in new york ed schultz definition of fairness. Well, I think with most Americans, if you're into the millions and you're parking your money somewhere else outside of an American bank and you're only paying 13.9%, I think the uh, I think fairness can be defined. Good to have you with us, folks, here on the Ed Schultz Radio Show. Look, uh, this generic conversation that erupts, well, that's all subjective and we're really not sure. How do we know what uh, Obama is talking about when he says fairness? You have to look at the circumstances. And just like that lady that called before the break, uh, a single mom, two jobs, what $100 means to her, it keeps her car in gas for a month so she can get to and from her two jobs. She said on this Ed Schultz radio show moments ago that you'd be surprised what she can do with a dollar, how far she can make a dollar go. And when you hear people who just haven't had enough out of America, like Mitt Romney, America hasn't been good enough to Romney. He needs to park his money in the the Virgin Islands or in the Cayman.